the path to be built into a holy place. Now you can see the filth of yourself. Reverend Dr. Holly Namok Yoon, United Methodist Church. Translator, Mrs. Irene Park. Reader, Mr. Jacob Lee. This video is made by Reverend Dr. Holly Namok Lee, who is a minister of the United Methodist Church. She got a degree of doctor in ministry at Claremont Theological Seminary in California. She is an executive director of Menowan Ministry. She carries a healing ministry. She is an author of 40 books and led 1,000 revival services and over 200 seminars for ministers. Now she lives in California with her husband, Reverend Peter Yongtek Lee. She is the fourth daughter of Dr. Sung Bum Yun, former president of Methodist Theological University in Seoul, Korea. Let's examine the last step of I am the way, which is the wash basin. After you see the burnt offering ceremony of my flesh and blood, you will meet the wash basin. Since people walk barefoot in the courtyard, this is the place to wash soiled hands and feet. The wash basin also represents me. It represents the purity and holiness of me. When you stand before the wash basin, you can finally see yourself top to bottom. When you stand before me, you will realize the fact that you are neither holy nor pure. Wash basin is where you wash off all the external dirts and prepare for holiness before you go into the truth, into the holy place. The moment you wash for holiness, the wash basin is built in your heart. The wash basin is also the word. Standing before the word, you can illuminate what kind of person you are. The water of the word washes you off. You can see yourself in front of the word and move toward holiness, which is the very step of the wash basin being built in you. This wash basin is also me. The wash basin is made of brass. It reflects your appearance, frankly. It reflects your image. When you stand before me, you can see the true condition of yourself. Because I am the absolute holiness and purity. The reason you can't see yourself is because you finally began to see me. Now, all the preparations for you to go into the sanctuary is finished. Because you have experienced the grace at the altar of burnt offerings and washed uncleanness which can be seen externally. Now you must go into the holy place of truth in order to wash the inner filth. By the way, why is the wash basin made with brass? Is there any special reason? The Lord explained as follows. The brass was collected from the mirrors which were used by the women who served at the tabernacle. Exodus 38 verse 8. The wash basin is a sacred object which holds water and stays out under the sunlight. So they shall wash their hands and their feet, lest they die, and it shall be a statue forever to them, to him and his descendants throughout their generation. Exodus 30, verse 21. As a matter of fact, brass symbolizes judgment. When you see the tabernacle, large quantities of brass are used. Especially the reason for the wash basin made of brass is that if they do not see themselves and not wash before entering into the holy place, they will die with judgment. Hence the symbol of the brass. But it was the only sacred object for which the size was not designated. The wash basin holds a lot of water, which means unlimited wash of sins and forgiveness. For any other metals to hold water under the sun 365 days, wouldn't they corrode fast? Listen carefully from this point on. You may have come to the altar of burnt offerings with my assistance, but from here, there are things you must do yourself. After you pass the altar of burnt offerings, there are things for you to do directly in order to become holy and pure. That is to wash your own hands and feet with water. Nobody can help you with that. 
You have to wash off the dust which covers you day after day. That is the beginning of living holy and pure once you've seen your image before the washed basin. As I have washed the feet of my disciples, you do not need to wash the whole body, but you must reflect yourself in front of the wash basin to clean any partial uncleanness. This wash basin is like a mirror for you to see yourself. Have you understood so far? The altar of burnt offerings can be considered as taking a full bath, whereas the wash basin is to wash partial uncleanness. Many ask why you need to repent every day, but taking a bath does not guarantee hands and feet from soiling. But there is a problem. This is only checking the outer appearance and washing externally. Your inner heart is not reflective. As a result, only the external filth is taken care of here. Therefore, to pursue inner holiness and purity, you must go into the holy place. Once the wash basin is built in you, the next step is to go through the door which leads to the sanctuary. This is the second gate toward inner holiness and purity. The things which need to be solved in you, which can never be seen at the courtyard of the tabernacle, can be found at the sanctuary. And you will meet four essential elements of I am the truth. Then the truth will be built in you. In order to become holy and pure, what you see, what you hear, and what you say must become holy and pure. Attending church services will not bring about the sudden transformation. In this world, you encounter many kinds of filth which will contaminate you. Your eyes, ears, mouth, and the mind will be soiled. Also, the body is contaminated through lewd sexual relations. Then, naturally, your character and life will become filthy. You don't have to make any effort to become dirty. But in order to become holy and pure, you need to discipline to sever what you must sever and keep the distance from what you must avoid. It will not happen naturally. But if you eat enough scriptures to fill your spirit, you will begin to dislike those things. If you try to stop on your own, you will experience the withdrawal symptoms. But if you are fully satisfied with the word, you will no longer have the craving for snacks. The scripture will become sweeter than honey and you will honestly hate the filth of the world. This process of purification is difficult to follow in reality. So the foundation of the holy place is comprised of the fence, the gate, the altar of burnt offerings, and the wash basin. Four floors have gone up so far already. The first floor, separation from the world. Second floor, the foundation of faith. The third floor, grace. And the fourth floor, holiness and purity. Lord, since you explained it to me, I can see more clearly how it is being built. I also realize why you need these things in order for you to reside in. Since you cannot live with sins, you ought to become holy and pure to live with you. Help us to clean all the filth in us. In order to build a solid foundation in four layers, we must meet the Lord from the four books of the gospel. I will draw a picture of the holy place according to my imagination and show it to you. So far, you have stepped into the way called Jesus, me. Before entering the truth, let's examine the priests who serve in the tabernacle. Once all the elements are built in you according to the blueprint of the tabernacle, you will become my sanctuary where I can reside. If you experience such elements, I am built as the holy temple in you, and you will not need to look for me because you are in me and I am in you. Since you have found the correct way to build a holy place, do you realize now that why you have not been able to do so? Maybe you have tried to build a house which looks pretty and wonderful from the outside, but if I am not built in you, 
the house will collapse eventually. Thank you, Lord. I anticipate your next lecture with great expectations. I like the fact that I can see myself at the wash basin. Bartimaeus could not see himself, but you made him see. We would like to see the true image of ourselves before you. I want to cleanse my external filth as well as my internal filth so that I may go into the most holy place with boldness. Help me to complete all 12 floors, including the most holy place. Let each and every floor illuminate like the precious gems and help us to construct a flame-proof sanctuary for you to reside. Give us the wisdom to become the heavenly architect to build the invisible divine house in our hearts. The Heavenly Newsroom English video will now be uploaded on another channel too. The channel's name is News from Heaven and is linked to a Yun Namok TV banner. Search Holly Namok Lee on YouTube and you'll find it. Thank you. In Hebrew, Menua is an adjective that describes being restful. We use the term Menua as a noun. Please hit the subscribe button for Yun Namok TV, News from Heaven. Thank you for watching this video.